Stephen Faraday and Glenn Heron's exhaustive study indicates the city's electric rates, after several rate reductions, are still currently 30% higher than FPL. According to their study, this costs the city's customers, which consists of citizens, businesses, government, schools, and even the hospital, $20 million a year. With what appears to be overwhelming support in favor of selling the city power plant and the associated transmission and distribution lines, do you agree with selling the power plant? And if not, why? Uh, well, there, that's the, uh, the tough question that's on everybody's mind. I do support selling of the power plant and the rest of the electric utility. Um, it's right now, it's just running on a really inefficient system. If there's any way we can get on Florida Power and Light, uh, we need to do it. It's just too much money. I mean, $20 million is the, the entire general fund that the city runs on. And that's the money that we're wasting every year just by running our own utility. Uh, it's money that can be better spent elsewhere, money that people in the city are going to save and they're going to put back in the city. Uh, at the same time, if we, if we can't reach an agreement with FPNL, one of the first things that we need to do is remove the $5.6 million that we have coming from the electric fund that goes to the general fund. We need to find a way to reduce that number lower, put the bill where it really should be as a, as a tax on property tax and not as, as a, a, a gift from the electric utility that comes from 61% of the clients who are outside of city limits, uh, who are really at the time suffering from taxation without representation. Thank you. And that was Michael Thomas. Next we have Pilar Turner. I'd like to begin in thanking Dr. Faraday and Glenn Heron for their exhaustive amount of work in preparing this model and their time and energy in educating the public on our utility situation. Uh, I think it's clear that it is time to sell. It's Vero Beach is no longer a power generator, we're a power broker. We buy our electricity from OUC and resell it to the city the rate payers of Vero Beach. Will never be less than a power generator such as FPNL. This is the difference between buying wholesale from the manufacturer or buying paying retail prices. It's time to sell. Thank you, Pilar. Save Abel. The, the issue with the studies that have been done is that it's assumed that Florida Power and Light is willing to offer uh, this area and its customers uh, the same rate that is being quoted is the Florida Power and White 1,000 watt rate. Um, I can say that the city has been doing everything it can for the last five years that I'm aware of since we got out of the FMPA contract. And the rate has dropped, our city rate has dropped per thousand from $158 last year to $117 beginning in October. There's no sign that it won't continue. And some of the power, yes, is from OUC, but 45% of our power is from nuclear and coal, which is the least possible cost that you can have. And that will come to benefit everybody here. And uh, we're doing a study with Florida Power and Light. There is no answer, as I said earlier. It may be a year, it may be longer. Thank you, Say, but I am not clear if you are for or against selling the power plant. Well, if we sell the power plant, we have to have a buyer. Right now, we don't have a buyer. I'm, I'm for doing the study, but that doesn't mean the Florida Power and Light is going to say yes. So then, what is your what is your next question? Do we go to some other provider, or do we do what we do as well as we can? Okay. I'm just looking for an answer. Are you for or against? And you can say it depends on the information, but you do not have an opinion. Is that what I need to understand? No, that is not what you understand. I, I, I. All right, well, we're going to move on. Thank you, Sid. All right, Al Bankart. Yeah, Toby, it's Bankert, by the way. B-E-N-K-E-R-T. Bankart. Bankert. Thank you. Bankert. Yes. When did it change? It never did. It's been a long time ago. But anyway, I'm, I'm I sorry. I just needed to do that. Um, one of the reasons I'm running, quite frankly, is your question. How the heck can the city council negotiate a deal 
with that p &L, if what we're asking for is a city council that is committed to selling at any price. You are asking a question that I think is inappropriate for candidates. Being willing to sell is fine. And I agree, we absolutely have to get the rates down. We cannot sustain 30% rates. It's hurting us, it's hurting our land values, it's hurting our businesses, they must come down. However, I have never went into a business deal where I told the other party, no matter what you offer, I'm gonna buy it from you. And sir, that is what your question is saying. I will sell if it is in the best interest of the citizens of Vero Beach, period. And that should be every candidate's answer. Okay. Thank you, Al.